lets you know how to use the guidelines. The guidelines can be found just by clicking on this icon just here. You may also open them by going into the Windows menu, Drawing, Guidelines. So just click on the Add button to have the choice between the different guides. Let's see first about the line angle. So let's create the line angle. So first we have to click to define the position and then hold the click to define the angle. Once the guide has been placed, it creates a blue HUD. If I draw, I will do straight lines parallel to the HUD. If I don't want this behavior, I have the possibility to disable the assistant just here. And then I can draw freehand line again. Anyway, if I draw too close to the HUD, I will draw straight line anyway. To disable this behavior, I can disable the snap option and then I'm free to draw as I wish. You can also hide a guide by clicking on the eye. You can also reduce the guide, change the opacity level, change the color, and you can also change the marge value just here. It means the higher the marge is, the powerful the snap will be, as you see. And you can also change the, uh, the Y position, and you can also edit directly the guide by clicking on Edit Guy, and then you can change its place and its angle. Then click again on Edit Guide to stop editing it. When you're done with a guide, you can click on this cross to delete the guide. So let's see the other guides, like for example the circle. That works more or less the same, except it will allow you to draw perfect circles. Another one, the ellipse. That will allow you to draw perfect ellipse. This guy can be used especially to make animation like um, drop falling in the water. You can also use the grids which are really useful if, for example, you have to draw many windows on a building. You can also change the width and the height of each square. Another very interesting is the vanishing point that allows you to draw perspective lines. And you'll notice you can even place a guide outside the drawing space. Another one with vanish point 2, where I can define two vanishing points in order to draw perspective backgrounds. Anyway, you'll notice that sometimes it's not easy to use the perspective line since following the direction you are about to, to use, the um, perspective line will make the choice for you. So my advice, Disable the assistant, increase the ray count, 
and use the guide just as a guide without using the assistant. And so if you have to draw a town, just use your brain and your eyes. Can show you so there is so the vanishing points three so where you can define three vanishing points and here honestly it's really hard to use uh, the assistant on at the same time because really the vanishing points are quite crazy and you never use the one you wish that's why it's much better to disable the assistant anyway here is the good result where vanishing points and ellipse were used to animate this character. Of the guides really interesting, in the support part, we can find the safe area. So you know, this place is not good to write text. And we can eventually redefine the safe area by changing the border out and in. The animator field that will bring many good memories for the people who animate on paper. The field chart. And probably one of the most interesting, the image guide. But before using the image guide, I must have something in my library. So let's open the library and let's find something from my computer. Here we are. So it's a model sheet, the same I have already used in a previous tutorial. And then now I can use support image. And I will use the image from the library. So I can place my guide even outside the drawing space. And using the guideline with an image is really Interesting, especially for animation, because then you're sure you will always animate and respect the good proportion of the character. Let me explain. First of all, I will lower the opacity of this guideline. Okay, now I will take any drawing tool. Okay, good drawing tool. And I will move this image by using Edit Guide. Let it move. Okay, and let's imagine I would like to animate uh, the, this girl and this girl will turn her head. So let's draw a face. And now let's animate. So I use that light table in order to move my guideline in a logic way. And I will even change a little bit the angle in order to make it turn ahead. I switch off the light table. And I redo the process with the third uh, position of the girl. Like this. And so here we have the beginning of an animation that was easy to do thanks to the guideline 